Sometimes when you're working with your clients, they're going to have some photos that they want incorporated in their video. In this particular case, there's a stone company that I'm working with, and they wanted to showcase some of their work in different states and stuff. So obviously it doesn't make sense for me to go film them, and it's much easier just to use this photo. So for this particular situation, what I want to do is scale and move this photo around and animate it so it's not as dry just like just, just sitting there. there. You can see I just having it sit there and pop up and commercial applications. is really kind of boring. We want more of an animated effect where it looks something like this. Use both in residential and commercial applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to scale and move and animate it so it moves a little bit and creates a little bit more dynamic movement and is more exciting to watch rather than the pictures just popping up. So the first thing you want to do is in this particular photo, I just want to cover the screen. I don't want to see any of this black stuff. So I'm just going to zoom out just a touch. I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to scale it up. And to do that, I just grab just a corner piece and just scale it up. Just like that. I, if I do it too much, you can see it gets really, really blurry because the photo is small. This is the highest resolution they had. So I'm going to try to make it as small as I possibly can so it fits within the parameters of the screen. So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you do is once you click on the photo and it's in the viewer, then you just go to the motion tab. And this is where the you can see where it's grayed out here. This grayed out lighter area shows you how long this particular clip is on screen for. So the first thing I want to do is click this little button right over here. This button is the add motion keyframe. It's the easiest thing to do. I just click it and it automatically clicks all these parameters. And if I click it again, just key over to the correct frame and I key it again, it does all these parameters. It's so much easier just to click this button or map a keyboard shortcut that does this simply because clicking them all is just going to waste more time. So if I want it to start here, this is where it starts, this is where it ends. So if I want it to start here, just like this, just like that, if I want it to start and then where I want it to end, let's say I just want to move it up a little and maybe scale it a touch, just like that. So now what happens is you can see over the course of this time that's on screen, it scales and moves very easily. So let's play it in real time. I'm just going to press Option P, and you can see how that works. Really nice effect. So let's do that again, and we'll do it with this particular image. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to double click on it, open the motion tab, and then I'm just going to, I want this to scale all the way like this. Okay, I'm just going to make it just large enough. And with this particular one, I want it to, I'm going to start it here on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm just going to click this key again, move it over, that's the last frame, click that again, and again you can map this to a keyboard shortcut as well, and I'm just going to start there, and how it's going to end, I want it to end a little bit larger and moving up a little bit more like that. So you can see this right here, what's nice is all these keyframes in the middle here are being automatically created based on where it's starting and where it's ending. So again, if I press Option P, we can see what it's going to look like. It kind of grows, scales, and moves up in that way. Commercial applications. Creating a more dynamic movement, Commercial a little bit more exciting, helps move the story along. So let's render this out and see what they both look like in real time using those two images and the parameters that we set both with scale and position that can be used both in residential and commercial applications. So you can see that's a lot more exciting than just having two static images that kind of pop on screen. It doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of scaling the image, setting the keyframes both in the beginning and the end, and then modifying where you want it to start and where you want it to end. If you like this video training and want to see more, go to handcraftedbusinessfilms.com. You'll be able to get access to my free video training course called Six Strategies to Better Business Videos. I'll show you video examples of work that I've done for my clients and provide detailed instructions. Then you'll be able to instantly start creating better business videos today. So go to handcraftedbusinessfilms.com and get this free video training course now.